What's up, YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks? Thank you guys for joining me today. Today's video, we are going to do a cedar plank salmon. We're going to smoke it on the Weber kettle. We're going to top it with the apricot glaze. This is going to be so good. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Really simple. We're going to brine this salmon in some salt and brown sugar mix. I'll show you what that looks like. It's been a while since I've done it this way. It's going to turn out, I just know it's going to turn out phenomenal. I think you guys are going to like it. Let's get started. All right, so here I have a uh, center cut piece of salmon, and I like an Atlantic salmon. It's a uh, 1.22 pounds skin on. What I'm gonna do is take some light brown sugar and I'm gonna mix this with some kosher salt here. Now the ratio is gonna be two to one, two being the sugar, one being the salt. Uh, I'm going to just do about four tablespoons of sugar and then two of the uh, salt, but the measurements for you might vary depending on, you know, how much you're making. If you're making more than this, then obviously you're going to uh, add some more brown sugar and, and salt to your mix. This here. Get just a little bit more. That's the brown sugar and the kosher salt, two tablespoons. And then just give this a good little mix. Then we're going to dump it right over the salmon. Throw that in the refrigerator and let it sit for about an hour, hour and a half uh, until all this brown sugar kind of melts and caramelizes um, or liquefies. What this is going to do is it's going to draw a little bit of moisture from the salmon and it's going to impart some sweetness. Now, it isn't going to be too sweet, it's just a hint of sweetness and it's not going to take out all the, the moisture from the salmon. So, you know, you're not going to get a dry piece of meat. Just like any other brine, it just, you know, enhances it, so. I think that's good there. So, get this and cover the salmon up. All right, let's do this here. Right over the salmon. Try to get it all covered. If you don't have the time to do this, if you're short on time, uh, you can leave this part out. Still cook it on cedar plank and you know, to come out just fine. So I am going to season this up with some It's Incredible once it's ready to go. Cause that is the best damn rub for salmon. A lot of stuff. Just so, uh, make sure you give it a nice, get it all covered up here, so. That is it. We're going to throw it in the fridge and um, just let it sit there uncovered for, like I said, probably an hour, hour and a half. Just until all this brown sugar kind of melts. And as it melts, it up, you know, spread out over the salmon. So that's it. I'm going to take this, throw it in the fridge. I'm going to get a cedar plank and drop it in some water. I'm going to let that cedar plank soak for probably about an hour, hour and a half, the same amount of time as the, um, the salmon sits. Um, you know, might as well since the salmon still has to, you know, finish up. So we'll get this in the fridge, get the plank in some water. And uh, once this is ready to go, we'll pull it out. We'll rinse it off, season it up, get it on the pit. This should be good. Stick around. So just to show you here, I got the cedar plank in some water. So I'm going to put something on top to kind of keep it submerged and just let it sit here until that uh, salmon is ready to go. We'll get the salmon on here, get it seasoned up. Like I said, on the Weber. This is gonna be good. Right, you guys, we're about an hour in. You can see that brown sugar started to melt. Still a little bit, and I could probably go a little bit longer, but, uh, you know, dinner needs to get started. So this is gonna be just fine. So I'm just gonna take this, rinse it off with some, some tap water, you know, right under the sink. I got the cedar plank here in water. We'll get that out. We'll get this on top of that, get it seasoned up. I have my Weber um, coming up to temp now. We'll get it seasoned up and then uh, get it on the pit. All right, so I got the salmon rinsed off. I got it on the cedar plank. 
we're going to season it with It's Incredible, our absolute favorite rub. This is by itself amazing, amazing, amazing on salmon. So just going to get it seasoned up all the way around. If you haven't tried this rub, you really need to. I know a lot of you have and you love it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I will leave a link below to the uh, Heaven Made Products website if you're interested in getting some. I do believe you have to be in the lower 48s though. That's only places that they'll ship. Something similar is just like um, something with a lot of garlic powder in it. Not a whole lot of salt, it's low in sodium but it's just a really, really good rub and it's actually great on everything. So check the links below. I'll leave a uh, link to the website where you can get some if you want. So that's it, we're gonna let it sit. The uh, Weber's still coming up the temp, almost there. We'll um, get this on in just a bit and I'll show you the setup that I'm gonna use for this. All right, so this is how my Weber set up. The baskets, got a shimmy of charcoal here. Fill those up. Ooh, it is hot. Spread this out a little bit. Let me, um, I'm actually going to move some of these over from the right side to the left side. Try to even it out. Now, I'm not sure what this is going to cook at. The temp will be. I'm going to, um, Simply the, the bottom vents, I'm gonna leave halfway open, which I'm shutting down now. So those are halfway open down at the bottom and the top vent will be halfway open. So we're gonna get our grate on. there get the lid on let it the uh, let the coals die down just a little bit and then we'll get the cedar plank right here in the middle between the two baskets all right so th the thermometer on the other side of the lid is reading right at about 300 um i don't think that's necessarily the the temperature that this salmon is going to cook at because this the lid or the th um, thermometer is on top the salmon is going to be sitting at the lower however i don't use thermometers really so I don't know what the temp is going to be that I'm cooking at. All I know is uh, I'm going to go by the look of the salmon. Let me get that on here. I'm going to go by the look of the salmon and the temperature. I will check it. Uh, finishing temp, I want about one, 143, 145. So about the last 10 minutes, I'm sorry, the last 10 degrees, so about 135, I'm going to hit that glaze over the top and we'll go, go ahead inside in just a bit to make that glaze. But about halfway through the cook, I mean, I'm going to come and turn the whole board around just to make sure I get even cooking. So that's the salmon. We're going to get the lid closed. Let's go start on that uh, apricot preserve, please. All right, so for the preserve, the apricot preserve, I have some here that I'm simply going to put in a pan and melt down. I'm going to take two big old heaping spoons here. Dump that right in there. And then I'm just going to thin it out with a little bit of water. Uh, my whisk. Okay, so we got the preserve in here. I'm going to take a little bit of water and dump that in there. Give it a swirl. Turn this fire down a little bit. Got the missiles over here making some asparagus. It's going to be so good. Season them up with a little bit of oil, added some It's Incredible, and saute those down. They're going to be amazing. So, this is preserved. Again, I'm just, just whisk it up until it thins out to your liking. 
If you add a little bit too much water, just add a little bit more preserve. I'm gonna add a little bit more preserve. probably way more than I need but oh well again just mix this up until it gets to the consistency that you like this is gonna be so damn good just rub them with some oil hit it with that it's incredible throw it in the pan a little bit of butter amazing right here all right so the salmon has been going for about 20 minutes take a look oh yeah you just rotate it i am going to open the bottom vent just a tad more where is it where's it at right here just a tad more so that's it. We'll let it go for another 20 minutes and uh, see what it looks like then. All right, so we're going to tempt this salmon, see where it's at. There, we're actually right at 130. I don't know if you can. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> right over the fire. Hold on. Let me, let me show you this. Right here, we're right at about 135 which is where I'm wanting to be there, 134, so that's perfect. So we're going to glaze the salmon, put that there, Just got the glaze here. I'm just gonna take some of this right over the top. So the salmon has been cooking for, let's say 120, 30, 35 minutes. Again, don't ask me what the temp was on the pit because I have no idea. So I want to get this glazed up and let it go another 10 degrees. And it should be good to go. And I'm probably only going to go with one, one coating. I think that's going to be plenty. So that's what it looks like. We'll get the lid back on and let it come up another 10 degrees. All right, so this is what the salmon looks like, done. Looks good, smells good. So we'll cut into it. I'm actually gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna have half and the wife's gonna have the other half. So uh, we'll get it cut in half. We'll give it a taste and uh, see what we think. All right, so finished product with asparagus on the side. You wanna try yours here? Or? Sure. All right. I'm going to try mine, let the missus try hers, just flakes right off. And you can see it's still moist, right? So it's not dried out at all. Mm -hmm. If you're worried about that salt pulling out all the moisture, it's good. Hey, okay. Let's give this, should get some glaze and give it a taste. See all that? I mean, there's still plenty of moisture in here. This thing is nice. Cooked perfectly, to my liking anyway. So it is not dry at all. And this is like the thinner piece, which you would think would dry out a little more since it's so thin or a lot thinner, but not at all. So. Give it a shot. Oh, it's still hot. But it's so good. Hmm. That apricot glaze gives a nice sweetness. It's not overpowering. No. I'm also actually picking up just a little bit of that brown sugar. It's so good. It is. Mm -hmm. It's flaky. It's uh, moist. <clears throat> that It's incredible. That apricot glaze is excellent. Super good. It's been a while since I've cooked it this way. I think the last couple of times I've done it on the cast iron. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since I've done cedar plank. This, you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah.
This is good. So it's, you're right. That moisture is just still in there, and the flavor. I can, yeah, I could have some yeah, every day. It's so good, man. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a shot. I think you would really, really enjoy it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care.